Hello everyone, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am the Sipping Tea, and today I've got a commentary video for you here of the Cold War T-34 heavy tank. Briefly, however, before I get into it, I just wish to issue a huge, huge thanks to my patrons, NB Hollywood, Niagara898, and TankerTuff66. Thank you all ever so much for your continued support. With that all being said, let's get into it. So here I am on Kasserine in the Cold War T-34, a rather big, rather slow heavy tank with a fairly hard hitting gun. My crew member today is called Mr. Magoo in honour of this rather inaccurate gun, which I think was partly displayed just there by that rather frustrated little gun wiggle as I managed to miss the medium tank that scuttled across the, uh, the middle of the screen. What I plan to do here is to dominate and control this centre valley, uh, hopefully allowing us to cut off the enemy from one half of the map, which does seem to be working reasonably well for the moment. There's only a couple of enemy tanks uh, on the right-hand side of the map, or the northern part of the map. Uh, one has just died along with another and ooh, another one did just pop up spotted by the light tank to my right. It is now time to ascend this little incline just here to try and shoot at this medium tank, this object 165. And there we are, 421 points of damage finally on the board. Uh, my platoon mate unfortunately just a little bit too close to the, to the rear of my tank just there. Um, this light tank here manages to take 406 HP from me as well, which is fantastic news. It is definitely uh, worth getting light tanks out of the uh, out of the game as quickly as possible. I've decided now to turn around and head back into the very heart of this valley as um, I didn't really fancy going any further up that incline in case I exposed the right hand side of my tank to the majority of the enemy team. Um, so I figure it is best to sort of defend and otherwise control this little entrance point just here. The object 165 from uh, earlier, I believe it's the same one, has now just been killed by my platoon mate, which is uh, rather fortunate. We more or less seem to uh, now dominate the map, and certainly the, um, <laughs> the score would suggest that is the case at 13 of us to 9 of them. It is, uh, I think the writing is pretty much on the wall now, but uh, nonetheless, there is still uh, a fair portion of this battle to, to fight. I managed to get a very, very lucky shot into that M103A1 just there, uh, as my shell not only managed to actually meet the target, which is a miracle in itself for this rather inaccurate gun, but it also went straight through the, uh, the shallow part of the top of the turret, which is really, really rather fortunate. I'm now just covering the ground here. Um, I'm planning to circle around to the uh, to the enemy M103A1 in a bit of a pincer movement with my platoon mate and there we go his side turret was exposed and I took full advantage of that and he is now back in the garage. There was a heavy tank in front of me who decided to disappear into a cloud of smoke, but my attention has been drawn to the absent without leave WZ111, who seems to be striking somewhat of a pose in their rather red bright tank. Um, so far be it from me to ignore this opportunity to score some free damage points. Um, I'm hoping to be able to set his fuel tank on fire, given my very first shot did actually damage it, but no luck yet. But I dare say, there we go, Soviet tanks and, uh, well, Chinese tanks in this instance, do tend to enjoy catching fire, and catch fire he did. And there we go, he is now back in his garage. It's time to focus again on the tanks that are actually here and playing the game. The Object 165 right there, and oh, what's this? My teammate in uh, in the M46 just there decided to get just a little bit too close to me. I was hoping to be able to pull back just a little bit after that last shot, but no, I had a tank trying to color uh, or trying to find out what color underpants I was wearing. Um, but thankfully, they got the hint and backed off. 
The M103A1, the uh, yet another one I think they may have been platooned together on the opposite team. I am now focusing on him, uh, hopefully going to get some more damage on this one. But uh, that frontal armor, yes, there we go. That frontal armor is very, very good. And unfortunately, um, I'm not. So uh, I aimed at the wrong place for that uh, first shot but there we go I did manage to redeem myself at least somewhat by getting the finishing kill um, there's now only two enemy tanks left on the team eight of us though so yeah I mean it wasn't a secret uh, how this game was going to go after a certain point and uh, it certainly appears that this game is drawing to a close as there is now only one enemy tank left a t95 e3 hopefully i can get a little bit more damage uh courtesy of his tank but let's have a look and see what's what i'm very slowly trundling my way there it's going to be a bit of a well a bit of a smash and grab as everyone wants their piece of this guy and there we go my teammate in the light tank manages to finish them off securing the victory for our team I managed to come in second place with 5,407 damage and three kills which is very very impressive there he is Mr. Magoo in all of his glory seemingly enjoying that game as well that's it for this video Thank you ever so much for watching and I'll catch you next time.